Hi, I'm Elisa Strauss and I'm an instructor with Craftsy.com. I want to show you how to make your rolled fondant look like real wood. I've taken a 16 inch square cake base and I've covered it with three pounds of white rolled fondant. Now I'm ready to get to work. I'm going to use a metal ruler and just place it along the edge of the cake board about two inches from the end. And I'm going to use either a paring knife or a pizza roller, whatever you like to use to emboss into the fondant. And I just make straight lines. And this is going to give the look of wooden floorboards. For a cake base this large, I'm do making the intervals about two inches apart. But sometimes I've made cakes with as cruise ships or smaller floors, so you'll just make the wooden floorboards a little closer together. So I just run my knife all the way along the base at even intervals. A few more. And you can make this look like old wood by making lots of little lines or a brand new wooden floor. Ta-da! And then I'm going to make smaller lines throughout the base. Again, this is going to give a look of different floorboards at different intervals. And I don't even need to use my ruler. As long as I have my paring knife, it gives nice straight edges. So just, it's almost like bricks. The one thing you want to be careful is you don't want your lines to line up in a row. You want it to look really natural, just like real floor. And then just to give a little bit more of an impression, once I have all of my marks, I like to go back in with either the back of a scalpel or even the back of my paring knife and widen these lines. This will just make it look like a real wooden floor. And by making these wider lines, when we start painting, the gel will fall right in between each of the floorboards and make it look really real. So we have two more. And then I'll go and do the same thing on my smaller lines. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you look at a real wooden floor, it has different impressions and markings. In fact, if you're not sure and you don't have a wooden floor, you can either print out a picture of some wood, or if you even have a wooden um, turntable or cutting board, anything that you have in your house that's wood will help you get the real look of your painted fondant. Okay, so I have all my lines widened. And then I'm going to use some stiff brushes. This way you can see when you flick them, they're not soft, but they have uh, thicker bristles. So I just use some vodka and food coloring gels. Here I have some brown gel, yellow gel, and a little bit of white, which will help bring out some accents. So I first just want to use a little bit of the fondant with some brown. And remember, the gels are super concentrated, so I just want a little bit. And it's almost like painting with watercolors. I just want to go over the entire board with one of my largest brushes. I'm just giving it a base coat. And you can already see by using, uh, this is just a regular hardware store brush. You could already see the lines coming through. OK, 
Okay, so I have my whole base coat done. And don't forget about the edges because you want it to go over the sides. Okay, and then I go back in just dipping my brush right into the gel, maybe just a corner, just like that. And I start by making darker streaks. And don't be worried, don't think that it has to look like the final product right away. Just have fun with it and just start getting color onto the base. And if you think about wood, it has all the little knobby areas, it has some split areas, different gradations of color. And then once I have all of my darker lines, I go back in just dipping my brush back into the vodka and you just pull it all together. If I want to make something look like pine, a lighter wood, I may add some white. If I want to make it look like the inside of a gymnasium, I'll just add some yellow. So it's really nice. You can use this for a lot of different cakes. And I like if I'm making a toy, like a cake in the shape of a toy, it's nice that it's sitting on a wooden floor. It really comes in handy. And the vodka just allows the gel to dry and it creates this nice paint medium. And to get into all these little areas, I can switch to a smaller brush, but it still has the stiff bristles. And I just get inside all the little crevices. So the biggest mistake people will make is not putting enough contrast in the color. So you really want to get the dark gel throughout the board. And then when you go back over it and paint it, it all comes together like a seamless wooden floor. So I just put little streaks of the dark brown. If I want to make it look like a knob, I can make it into that shape. Then I go back with my larger brush with the stiff bristles and I just blend it all together. Doesn't have to be fancy, just fun. The gel and the vodka do have a tendency to splatter, so don't do it near a new white couch. And you see this? I love how this comes together. It looks like real wood. I'm not even going to touch it, all the little streaking. It looks like how it's darker on one side. Just make sure to get all the different sides. All right, so we have a nice fondant base, but it looks like real wood. If you like this tip, check out my class, Designer Handbag Cakes, at Craftsy.com.